I don't even know how to start this video. I guess this is how it's starting. Yeah! <laughs> Hello everybody, goodbye October, let's talk about the faves. So you can't really see what this first thing is because the label has kind of come off, but it is the Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life, and this is a scrub mixed with a cleanser, which I really love using in the shower because a lot of times I'm lazy. Actually, let's be honest, most of the time I'm lazy in the shower, which is why I don't take baths, because I just need to get cleaning over with. I like using scrubs that have cleansers built in, and this one is my favorite that I've tried so far because it actually really lathers up and most of the time that doesn't happen. And it has the signature Soap and Glory scent, which I am a huge fan of. I could freaking smell this all day. Ah, this video has only begun and it's already getting weird. Now, I actually got this because of a viewer. So, on Instagram, when you guys tag me in photos, I pretty much see every single one. A girl had posted a photo with products that I had recommended and she was saying that she loved them, but she also had things that she loved. She had recommended this L'Occitane Almond Shower Oil and it is amazing. This smells like Christmas cookies. It starts off as an oil and then it emulsifies with the water and you get this really creamy luxurious lather your skin is just enveloped in this almondy goodness and it is amazing and I can't wait to get the full bottle thank you to the girl who tagged me on Instagram because you may not even know that I got this because of you but I did this is the Garnier Clean Nourishing Cleansing Oil, and it says dry skin on here, but just ignore that because I have oily skin and I love this. This has a really nice scent to it. It is a little bit strong, but it's not something that sticks around, and I think it's definitely comparable to the Matte Cleanse Off Oil and the Bosha Cleanse Off Oil. If you have been wanting to try one, now you can get them at the drugstore. So good job, Garnier. I approve. Now I have to go wash my hands because they have oil all over them. The Tony and Guy Creative Style Wax is pretty awesome. This comes in spray form. Even when my hair is clean, I want my hair to have that like grit to it because that's what gives you volume and texture and it makes it easier to style your hair and it also just holds better in general. So I've been spraying this stuff in my hair dry and damp and it works really, really well without making your hair feel super super sticky so it provides a little bit of hold and it actually helped me create this bun today this is a super tiny little guy because it's just a sample size but it is the smashbox photo finish oil-free pore minimizing primer and i love benefits professional but honestly i kind of think that this is better i feel like this does a better job at concealing your pores i will use this whether i'm putting foundation over the top or not because it just instantly mattifies your skin so on the days when i don't feel like wearing liquid foundation or powder foundation i have been wearing the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I also use this to set my liquid foundations as well but this stuff is great for photography it looks super natural in person it doesn't give that like white powdery finish that you see in photos sometimes like some HD powders will do so you guys have probably seen me pull out this palette quite a bit this month and that is because I love it it is the Bobbi Brown surf and sand palette and this is the sand eye palette so I'm not sure if this is limited edition, but this was part of like her late summer collection. And it's basically a palette full of neutrals. All of the eye makeup I'm wearing today, aside from mascara and eyeliner, is from this palette. I just wanted something small that had shimmery colors and matte colors as well. Things that I could use every single day to create a ton of different looks. And another thing I appreciate about this palette is that the mirror is a legit mirror. So it's not one of those cheapy mirrors that sometimes you get in palettes. You peel off the cover and you're like, mm, this isn't really a mirror. It's more like tin foil. All right, so Miss Essie Button convinced me to get this eyeliner because she said it was better than the Stila one. One and she was right. The Stila eyeliner is one of my favorites, but what I love about the Kat Von D tattoo liner is that 
it's really black and matte so it doesn't have that shininess to it and this stays in place all day so it is comparable to the Stila one but I do agree with Estee that this is just a little bit better this is this color that I'm wearing on my lips right now it is Bobbi Brown's tawny pink matte lip color and I heard about this through Amanda Steele because she was talking about it in one of her favorites videos a while ago and I would see her applying this in person and I thought it was just like the perfect matte lip color it has a little bit of a berryness to it but then a little bit of a brown hint to it and it's just the perfect fall color in my opinion BT dubs I discovered a drugstore dupe for this so if you don't want to get the Bobbi Brown one Revlon's color burst matte balm in sultry is pretty much the exact same thing I have been wearing this bracelet from Madewell a ton it basically just has two triangles on it and it's really simple so that's that if you follow me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter you have probably noticed that I have been wearing this necklace a lot it is a really simple gold choker slash collar necklace and I just love how minimal it is but it adds like a modern element to any outfit this one is from Bobble Bar for book, I have been reading Heads in Beds, and when you see the cover of this book, you kind of think like, ooh, there's something going on behind that door, like what is this romance novel? That's what I first thought when I saw this book, and then I realized, oh, this is actually a book about a guy who worked at a hotel, and now he's telling all of the stories that happened in this hotel. So it's really, really hilarious, funny, entertaining. I think the author has a great voice and it definitely can be raunchy, but he keeps it light and keeps it fun. And he works at this really high-end hotel, so the clientele is interesting to say the least. If you're looking for a good laugh and something just entertaining, I think this is a great read. I hate to say that I've jumped on the pumpkin spice bandwagon, but I'm actually not really sorry because I think it's delicious, so I'm going to eat as much of it as I possibly can. The newest addition to my pumpkin spice love, pumpkin O's from Trader Joe's. These are basically Cheerios with pumpkin spice added to them and they are freaking delicious. So delicious that when I was checking out, the cashier actually warned me and he was like, you're going to want to get more of those if you like these, which you probably will because they're limited edition, so you're going to want to stock up. And I was like, great, fantastic. Next time you see me, I'll be buying 20 boxes. I don't think I have mentioned this on my channel before, but I'm on a new TV show. It is Project Runway Threads, and it has already aired. It is on TV for you guys, and I'm pretty freaking excited about it. So if you guys are familiar with Project Runway, it's basically Project Runway, but with kids ages 9 to 16, which is incredible because these kids are designing adult clothing, and they each have their own sense of style. Project Runway Threads airs on Lifetime TV Thursdays at 10 p.m. right after Project Runway All-Stars. So if you want to tune in, you will see me. And I will also be live tweeting. I've loved live tweeting so far. It's been a lot of fun and you guys have been really into the show, it seems like. I have no shame in saying that sometimes I just want to watch a movie where I can feel like I just want to curl up and cry and that's what this movie one day did to me it was just one of those days where I was like I just want to watch a romantic movie and cry it wasn't because I was upset or anything I was just being a girl but I chose it because I really love Jim Sturgis who I fell in love with when he did across the universe I was like hello you are amazing but it's about this guy and girl played by Anne Hathaway and they are friends right out of college and then it follows them over the next decade like as they grow up and they go through all of these changes and they kind of check in with each other like once a year and you see this progression throughout their lives. You see them go through really high highs and really low lows. I'm not going to give anything away, but this movie will take your heart, grab it, and just go like this. 
last but not least, my human favorite this month is Haley G. Hoover. Haley is probably one of my favorite people on YouTube and on Twitter, and this is gonna sound like creepy stalker Ingrid right here, but I go through Haley's Twitter feed on a pretty regular basis, especially when I just want to laugh or just read something witty. I just really connect with them, and I love her YouTube videos. My favorite one that she's done has probably been the one where she talks about PMS. I freaking died when I watched that video because it is so real. So I'm gonna link that video down below. If you are a girl, you need to watch it. If you are a boy and you know girls, you need to watch it so you understand what we go through during that time of the month. That concludes my favorites for this month and there is a hot lamp right here so I am carefully gonna go around it so I don't burn my hand and I'm gonna get going. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. I I hope you enjoyed it and I am going to peace out now. Have an awesome day. I'll see you in my next video. But if you missed any of my last videos, you know what to do. Here are the two boxes for you to click on. Only if you want to, you don't have to. Don't feel like I'm trying to force you into clicking them. But really, you should go watch that PMS video. If you have not clicked on that link down below, you need to go do that now. Forget about watching my videos. Go watch that PMS one by Haley because it is awesome. Okay, leaving now. Bye!